Okay guys, we're headed on down to the Indian Spring State Park part of this video. Um, Indian Spring State Park has been here for quite some time. It's actually, the park is named for several natural springs that are in here, which the Creek Indians <coughs> used, like centuries they used it for natural healing. So, we're gonna go down here and check out the springs. People come down here from different states to come get mineral water that comes out of these springs because they feel like the water has healing properties in it that heal the body. But here is the Indian Springs Hotel. It's a historic site and it's a museum as well, but it's only open for tours certain times of the year. Right. <laughs> well, Indian Springs has been a state park since um, 1825. But it's been here way longer than that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hope not. That would not be good. on that one. It doesn't have a sign. Beautiful building though. I'm sitting by this big rock. Pretty bridge over here. I'm sorry about that. Lens for a little while. Under that sun, that was a pretty stone bridge here. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I would, if I had to guess, I would say this place is majorly haunted because Indians like came here for thousands of years. They believe that the, the mineral water here would heal. We heal any illness, and uh, they came. They walked for hundreds and hundreds of miles to come get that water, and uh, they really believed that it healed them. They firmly believed it. This is the river that runs along the state park or through it. What river is this? Uh, <laughs> Guys, I don't even know the name of this little river, creek, whatever you want to call it. We just call it Indian Springs. Now, up this way, there are some old... I'm talking old structures. I mean, Indian Springs Indian Springs was built in 
Indian Springs is possibly the oldest state park in the country. Um, so there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of talk of paranormal, which I'll save that for another video. Um, and famous, famous for these mineral spirits, which I think we're almost to that building. I'm not sure. But take a look at this, guys. This building has been here since before 1825. Again, this place has been here since before the 1800s. Well, before 1825. And I'm not sure what this building is. This sign over here says, I'll show you in just a minute. But, um, it is absolutely amazing. Let's see. This is the... It's the Indian Springs State Park Museum. And I'm assuming that it's closed. I don't know. It might be open. Let's go see if we might see if it's open. It's that front thing where the silver piece is. There's a little switch that goes back and forth. Yeah, that goes. I'm going to go over here and see if the doors are unlocked. I seriously doubt it though. Let's see what we find guys. Oh sorry. No, guys, it's in, it's closed. There's nothing in there. Yeah, it's closed. I think it's closed. Yeah. Well, I'll have to get out here another day and show y'all. But look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful out through there. Imagine coming to work here every day. Really nice. But we're fixing to get down here to where the water's at. Okay guys, we're over here where the water, the steps are to go to the mineral water area. And this is really pretty too. It's really nice down here. People come here this is like sometimes a family tradition that they come here to Indian Springs. And for a $5 parking fee, you can stay all day. Sunrise to sunset. Some people down that way, so I won't pan over there. But this place is absolutely really nice. So beautiful and peaceful at times. This is where the healing, the healing um, water is at. Spring is at. But there's some people down there, so I'm going to let them finish doing what they're doing, and then I'm going to come down here and go down there. Right now, I'm going to take you up here and see what's up here. It's like pyramid steps.
they have all of this over here, guys. I guess that's the women's and men's restroom. Okay guys, we are at the steps of the, what used to be, excuse me, we are at the steps of what used to be the old bridge that took people from one side of the Little Creek River, whatever you want to call it, to the other side. Let me show you what this is. There's a bunch of folks coming. I don't know why they chose right now to do this, but I guess we'll do another something else another time. And I hate it that there was somebody at the water spring collecting mineral water, but it looks like they're going to be there forever. They had big jugs, the big water jugs like you see in an office building. But I'm crossing the bridge. Y'all see? See this? Like a big sign of it. Yeah. We are going to walk around to the. <laughs> we are walking to the main road to the new bridge so we can show you some of the buildings. We showed you a couple of them when we first got down this way, but this is where my mother grew up, not far from here, probably less than a mile from here, and she told me some of these houses have been here since before she was born, which I'm sure they've been here since way longer than that. Let me give you a bird's eye view of what I'm looking at, guys. Imagine staying in that house up there, or that whatever that is, bed and breakfast, and looking out across here into the park. guys. Just wanted to show you the creek. I guess that's why they called it the creek. They called them the creek Indians because they stayed in this creek area. day, this little building here, across the road here, which is covered up with all kinds of shrubbery and trees and all, used to be the skating ring, or skating ring, bowling alley, that my mom used to go to when she was a teenager. Now, I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't think it's a residence, because it looks so abandoned. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, well, it may be a residence. Because it looks like there's a bunch of stuff out there. 
But this is like the small town of Indian Springs. They do not have a stoplight. They do not have a stoplight. They don't have a grocery store. They do have a... They do have a convenience store slash gas station slash um, gift shop up this way. And then there's the chapel. Let me show you guys this. let you guys pause the video if you want to read what this says, but it says Sherman's rights at Indian Springs. So apparently General Sherman came through here with his troops. Damn, he scared me. They see me with a camera and they... Yeah, that scared me to death. Occasionally, when you're riding by and you're looking at the water, you can see these cranes, the bird cranes, sitting in the middle of the stream and on the rocks. I guess trying to fish. There's no plaque um, or sign that says about this house. It could be a residential, but I'm pretty sure that it's a bed and breakfast. I'll find out some more information on it and post it in the description. Here is a... up close. I'm going to try to get closer to the hotel museum. I'm going to cross over now. These steps go up there, so I'm sure they wouldn't care because there's no gate if we just got up here and walked around to see what it looked like. Whoa. I hope I don't slip and fall. These are steep way steep. Oh, wow. It's a cemetery, guys. No, maybe not. I don't know what it is exactly, but... Oh, it's a garden. Another garden. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, guys. But I wanted to get you a closer view to the house, which is said to be active with paranormal activity, but I don't think it's harmful or demonic. Let me get a front. Let me get around to the front and show you. Closer view of the Indian Springs Hotel and Museum. And as the sign says, it's a historic site. 
circa 1823. So, and the, the, this has been here so long that even the Creek Indians were coming here and doing business. What? He said he heard somebody hollering. The end of this video. Um, that was Indian Springs, and as you can see, it's a beautiful place. So if you get ever get this way, stop into a Little Indian Springs, where they have no traffic light, no nothing really. Don't blink or you'll miss it. And I hope to see you on our next adventure.